Well, hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the cabin. Beautiful October day, kind of mild though today. I know I've been away for a couple of weeks, but I've been busy for so many things to do. There's always something, somebody wants you to do this or do that. Oh man, anyway, uh, I did, I was going to put out a video last week. I was gonna to try to squeak one out, just didn't happen. The world had other plans for me, but that's all right. Uh, here we are and uh, Today I got a million little things to do as I'm trying to get ready for uh, for winter. It's kind of a mild day and uh, be a good day to till the garden in and uh, up in front of the cabin. I was up there trying to measure to see if I could add another uh, another solar panel. Just have some extra juice coming in. I think I got room. So uh, I'll try to do that. Won't be doing that today, but another time. Just wanted to make sure I had the room for it. Got some maintenance coming up on the tractor soon. Got to get that done. Uh, but first, I'm going to get the uh, the old Craftsman tiller fired up and get that garden tilled in. This never fails to start. This is an amazing tiller. I love my Craftsman. Every time. That craftsman starts every time. like I see deer tracks in here how did the deer get in here it's all fenced in but then I realized I'm missing a wall I'll have to fix that later Well, that's the end of the garden for another year. Uh, garden this year, ah, not really that great. It was too hot, too dry. Uh, we didn't have much rain at all. Very, very dry summer. Cucumbers were amazing. I had so many cucumbers. I was giving cucumbers away. Cucumbers just were amazing. Tomatoes, not bad. Uh, potatoes were a pretty good uh, year. Um, but that's, that's about it. Carrots, uh, green beans, and onions and yeah, that stuff never grew hardly at all, especially the carrots. The green beans, I got a few, but carrots, zero. I planted them several times, tried different varieties, nothing grew, zero, not one carrot. And I heard that from other people too. Uh, so one of those years, but that's all right. There's always next year. starting to look uh, a little different around here. You can see now the, the beech trees are starting to turn orange. 
oak trees are hanging on nice and green. Maples though are losing a lot of leaves. Yep. Well, winter's almost here. Won't be long. Another thing I want to do is get uh, the rest of the wood out out of the tractor garage because then I'll have more room in here for the tractor. So since I have a, I have a brand new wood shed, I don't need to keep wood in here anymore. Okay, last thing I want to do today, I want to run some of this half inch chicken wire around the perimeter of the uh, woodshed that I built. And uh, I want to keep out, you know, any critters that uh, might want to crawl under there and make a home. So I'll just take this chicken wire, kind of bury it here, fold it up and bury it in this trench, and then just staple it along the bottom, along that board. I did the same thing for the cabin uh, eight years ago when I built it. I ran chicken wire around the entire perimeter. Uh, never had uh, never had a critter under there yet. I kind of that's another uh, lesson I learned. Uh, I remember again uh, when my uh, when my dad was around his old camp, and uh, one time a coyote crawled underneath of his camp and died. And it was real hard, just enough, there was just enough room for the coyote to crawl under there and die. Anyway, stink, oh wow, <laughs> did it ever stink. And what a job getting that thing out of there. Uh, it was, uh, it was quite a job to, <laughs> we had to, had to tunnel our way underneath of the, uh, underneath of the old camp and uh, get a hold of that stinking rotted coyote and drag it out of there, man. All right, I'm gonna call that mission accomplished. That is done. 
starting to get a little hungry. Who ordered the moose steak? Oh, that would be me. Let's get that baby on the grill. One moose steak coming up. Unfortunately, I don't have much of this left, but this is the best seasoning I think I've ever had. Open season, uh, wild game from Cabela's. Oh yeah. You know, the great thing about having my own fridge now, <clears throat> besides the fact that it keeps my beer ice cold, is I also have uh, a freezer, which uh, means I can have a frosty mug. Speaking of frosty, it's frosty out here. It's about 38 degrees. You can feel the temperature dropping. Oh man. And uh, the days are getting short. Winter is on the way. In no time at all, I'll be having a video. Snow will be falling at the cabin. And I'm just about ready. I think I've got uh, almost everything done that needs to be done. i got a few more things to do. Uh, I do have to do the tractor maintenance. Uh, that's coming up. I'm going to try to do that soon. And... Uh, I've got a few other little things to take care of. There's always wood to cut and split. And, uh, yeah, before long, the snow will be here. Oh, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there is nothing like moose. Nothing. I don't care. Man, I have probably eaten just about everything that walks. And <laughs> I'm telling you, moose, moose. Can't even talk. It's so good I can't even talk. <laughs> Moose is on a whole other level. I mean, this is just, this is amazing. Mm. And people always ask, what does Moose taste like? Tastes like Moose. I don't think I've had anything like it. There is nothing else like it. Moose is amazing. I think the closest thing uh, to moose, I would say, is probably buffalo. If you've had buffalo or bison, whatever you want to call it, that's very, I think, close to moose, but it's, it's not moose. Moose is moose, period. If you've never had moose, if you ever get a chance, try it. I mean you're going to love it. It is, it is wicked. Ah. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I am going to enjoy that moose steak. Oh man. And uh, then I'm going to call it a night. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today and watching. If you're new, subscribe, smash a little bell icon. If you want to be notified of new videos, uh, smash the old thumbs up if you don't mind. You know, I appreciate that support, guys. Uh, you guys take care, stay safe, and we will see you real soon back here at the cabin.